Who is an imposter? By the sounds of it, I'm the imposter, but... We've got one girl saying, let's have a picnic. The other girl saying, we will have great food. And mom, with her triple thick neck, which is making me a little sus. Uh, you guys do realize that your picnic is nothing but an end table in the park with the bottle of air? Or maybe a bottle of water? Did, did you want to have the first drink? Here you go! Ew. I don't know why I just poured that on your face. Uh, maybe the imposter can't survive water? Oh, big surprise. Of course it'd be mom. <laughs> yeah, real shock. It looked like you swallowed a microwave. What's up, guys? Welcome to Who Is? Uh, a game where you're presented with a scenario and then asked a tough question like, who is the cheating spouse? Who is the real parent? Who is the flesh-eating alien from Percy I-8? You know, mysteries that only my superior deductive skills can solve. In this case, we're being asked, who is his wife? On the left, we've got the brunette who says he is my hubby. I don't know how much I trust her though, because her face keeps sliding around on her head like an egg in a frying pan. On the right, we've got the blonde who says we are married, as she strikes her very best little teapot pose. And then in the middle, we've got Jeff who's being awful quiet. Because there's plenty of Jeff for everyone, ladies. Jeff, I was about to say, it looks like you've skipped a couple of leg days, but then I realized you've got a price tag sticking out your ass. <laughs> like, maybe it's not too late for you to return these legs? You get a bigger pair? You never know. Oh, it's a marriage certificate! Why would you carry that around with you wherever you go? <laughs> I guess for situations just like this one, you know, whenever a cute teapot blonde shows up and starts making crazy talk, you can just whip it out and show that you're committed to the creepy face lady. Who is not pregnant? So we've got one lady who's yelling, I'm always hungry, and then another who's screaming, my back is killing me. Two reasonable things to hear from a pregnant lady. I'm assuming only one of you is pregnant and the other is just fat. And if that's the case, then the answer is to just wait. I mean, like, we'll give him a couple of weeks. Once everything comes out, we'll see which is a baby and which is poop. Well, I've waited for about two minutes and no one's water's broken yet, so... How about this? I'm just gonna poke around a little bit. Don't mind me, ladies. Sometimes a baby pokes back, but Taco Bell doesn't. Oh. Congratulations, ma'am! It's a healthy pillow! I'm sure your husband, the throw rug, is gonna be very happy. She just wanted an excuse to eat everyone's cakes. Something tells me you don't need to act pregnant to eat cakes. You could just be a jerk. Who is the dog's owner? So we've got one guy who's saying, come doggy doggy, and the other that says, that's my dog. Not a great argument by the first guy, right? Usually you would want to call your dog by their name. Unless the dog's name is Doggy Doggy, in which case I'd love to know where you found a Zamboni small enough to keep your brain smooth as ice. <laughs> this dog doesn't seem interested in either of you. I'm assuming it's just the two of you guys that I need to worry about. Right? Like everyone in the boy band isn't claiming ownership, are you? Because <laughs> I see a baseball. Maybe if I gave this to the owner, then the dog would go to them. There we go. Oh, it actually was named Doggy Doggy. Well then, don't I feel like an idiot? <laughs> Who is a bad guy? So we've got a professionally dressed individual in the front carrying his man purse saying, I hate checking lines. As well as a much more casually dressed individual in the back with his luggage saying, I will miss my flight. And don't think for a second that I didn't notice Jack Septicai between the two being suspiciously quiet. Mr. Septicai, are you aware that fruits and vegetables aren't allowed to cross international borders? You had better not be smuggling potatoes in that butthole, so help me God. Oh. Oh, he actually was the bad guy. I thought I was just being a smartass, but he had a bomb. I mean, technically they were all bad guys because no one was wearing a mask, but uh, Bomb is a little more immediately dangerous. Wait a minute, isn't the game called Who Is? Like, shouldn't this be Who Is Guilty? 
not who did this? Either way, who did this? We've got one guy saying he is the murderer, and then the other saying I am innocent. And the third guy, who I don't think we're going to be suspicious of this time. Actually, now that I think about it, we don't even know that he's dead. But he could have just passed out, like the beer could have done this. Would you like a beer? I'm just going to balance that on your titties. Would you also like a... Oh, you've got blood drops on your hands. There was no blood on the body. What? Come on now, who is? Like, I, I can appreciate that the game is free and you get what you pay for, but you're not even trying anymore. Where is the candy? And it seems like I'm currently looking down the barrel of a gun in a grocery store at a soccer mom. <laughs> Come on, lady, where do you put the candy? Oh, there's the kiddo. He would probably be reaching for it. Or cornflakes. Wait a second. I think those might be Chinese knockoff cornflakes. You better believe if I can't find this candy soon, I'm gonna check out this MILF's fat ass. Oh, it's got a daughter. Oh, candy's over this way. Oh, I got it. Thank you, little girl. <laughs> Much appreciated. <laughs> you see, this is more like it. Who is a spy? So we've got three soldiers, none of which are speaking to each other or to us, but one is definitely speaking to the enemy. I'm not really up to date on my international military advancements. Do the Russians have the ability to fly? <laughs> Sir, could you please come back down to the group? Thank you. How about you? What if we have you speak a few words to God? Anything to say? No? Okay. How about you? Oh. Okay. Well, that's the spy. What if he's simply calling his wife? Oh, what? His wife in Pyongyang? Who is a werewolf? Well, we've got three guys and none of them seem to be all that talkative. Uh, whoever's Team Jacob, take a step forward. No? I don't know why I thought that would work. I also don't know why they gave me like a basketball-sized clove of garlic or, or like a wooden steak. <laughs> this stuff is for vampires, not werewolves. We've also got a potion which no one seems to want to drink. This guy in the middle of his teeth is setting up red flags. I, I don't like it. Like, the only way you could tell a werewolf is if it's night. Oh. Oh, it wasn't the guy with the teeth. It, it was the other one. How are you supposed to guess, okay? You can't just judge a book by its cover or a werewolf by its skin. Who is not a real princess? So we've got a lady in pink yelling, let it go, let it go. Doesn't have quite the same impact unless you're singing it. <laughs> lady in green, who's just kind of trailing off. La, 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 la. And the lady in blue, who's remaining quiet because Disney is holding her parents hostage. I'm gonna assume if we can make this clock strike 12, we should get some kind of slipper action, or, or just someone's gonna turn into a pumpkin, or a mouse, or however the Christ that goes. <laughs> Hopefully, oh. oh. Oh, you turn back. Right, because you're not actually a princess, you're pretending. We're just gonna skip level 10 entirely because it wasted my deductive genius on finding five hidden objects. It's like a baby game for babies. But level 11 asks us, who is her true lover? We've got Briar Tuck over here who says, marry me. And cultural appropriation Curtis says, I love you. Lady, I don't mean to speak for you, okay? Are you cool with that? Did you do that to him? Maybe you did his hair this way? Obviously, I can't just pick one of the two. That would be too easy. <laughs> no, instead, I need to go looking around for a frog. Okay. Uh, do you want to go back in your pond? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> oh, you probably need to get kissed to become a prince. <laughs> well then. That was weird. Who is an imposter? By the sounds of it, I'm the imposter, but we've got one girl saying, let's have a picnic. The other girl saying, we will have great food. 
And mom, with her triple thick neck, which is making me a little sus. Uh, you guys do realize that your picnic is nothing but an end table in the park with the bottle of air? Or maybe a bottle of water? Did, did you want to have the first drink? Here you go! Ew. I don't know why I just poured that on your face. Uh, maybe the imposter can't survive water? Oh, big surprise. Of course it'd be mom. <laughs> yeah, real shock. It looked like you swallowed a microwave. Here's one we all expected. Who is cheating? She says, I love you. He says, you are my life. But one of them has been secretly getting pounded in the pooper on the side. <laughs> the question is, who? We got any secrets underneath the table? You've got some secrets in your purse? What do we have here? That's a different guy. So you were the poop pounder all along. Separate these into two categories. What do you mean? I swear they just didn't have enough levels, so they made a bunch of non who is levels and then shuffled them in. It's so weird. Two categories. Well, it's all sports stuff, so I'm guessing we'll go with balls and not balls. How about that? No? Oh, I thought for sure that'd be good. Um, how about equipment that you wear and equipment that you don't wear? I'm missing something here. Oh, maybe we could do something like uh, referee equipment and non-referee equipment. All of these answers are perfectly valid, by the way. Oh, I see now. We've got soccer equipment and football equipment. Well, I'm, I'm Canadian, okay? Soccer and football are just like interchangeable words for the same thing. Who is rich? So we've got Toothy McGee, who says, I have the latest phone. Torny Stork, who says, I have Bitcoin. And a Bucket Hat Hobo. Probably not gonna worry about the bucket hat hobo. I don't suppose you guys have an easily accessible wallet for me. No? I'm not really seeing anything to interact with here to be perfectly honest. Oh! Oh, what? Something tells me you wouldn't be driving around in a Ferrari while looking like you've been sleeping under an overpass. This game is just gonna, it's gonna rot my mind. I'm done. But you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Who Is, guys. Really fun little game. I gotta say, you know, we've seen a lot of mobile game ads that kind of clickbait this sort of gameplay, but then they don't deliver on it. So it was nice to actually find a game where you have to solve these kind of strange little mobile game mysteries. If you guys wanna see more, you know, as always, be sure to like this video, let me know, and then I'll return to see who is their child. It, it, Pretty obviously the blonde one, but I can't blame the other for calling her mommy. I'd call her mommy. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.